Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. I had a lot of challenges in this case. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. The anterior capsule is stained underneath an air bubble. The dye is washed out. The antechamber is filled up with 2% SPMC. SPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium. And now, see what happens as I try to do orexis. As soon as the anterior capsule is punctured, milky fluid comes out. The milky fluid is aspirated with 23G. Simco. Visco is again injected, the antechamber is filled off. And now I take a uterita forceps and try to do rexis. But see what happens. As I go near 6 o'clock, suddenly the rexis goes to periphery. The rexis runs out. As I try to retract the rexis, there is tendency of the genual to give in. So I made a small stab wound, applied an iris hook, supported the rexis margin at 7 o'clock and then tried to retrieve the rexis. After several attempts, I could hold the rex capsule and as I try to pull there is tendency of genular tear. So I make a another incision at seven o'clock, use a vana scissor, cut this capsule anteriorly and now I try to to complete the rexis. I use this y shaped instrument to support the anterior capsular rim and pull the capsule. there is a joining there I could tear it off with this Y instrument and now as I pull it find that the journal is very weak however with some support I could complete the rexis superiorly so there is a weak area from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock, almost 3 o'clock hours. So I inject a CTR. The CTR went at 3 o'clock, the on end of the CTR. Didn't go to the weak area. And now I try to place the other end at around nine o'clock so th the two ends are superiorly placed and here goes the CTR in the capsular bag now as the capsular bag is supported I push the lens uh, push the nucleus inferiorly inject some visco both behind and in front enlarge the main wound little bit and inject a single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the back yes one haptic has gone in the capsular bag 
the leading haptic we cannot see but hopefully it will go in the capsular bag and now inject visco both in front to protect the corneal endothelium and behind also and emulsify this nucleus over the IOL platform. The nucleus is hard but it is small. Size of the nucleus is small. Now after emulsifying the nucleus I didn't come out just like that. I injected visco injection was the piston was pushed by my assistant I just hold the anterior part of the syringe and then I remove the nuclear bits with Simco there is no cortex to be removed the visco was cleaned with bimanual irrigation aspiration also and the case looks fine there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber the side port was closed by hydrating corneal stroma the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills Hope it will encourage you to take up challenging cases.